So it is minus three today. It has been snowing all morning and call us crazy, but today we are going swimming. Hey there, I'm Sarah and this is Mark. After saving up for years, we finally set off to fulfill our travel dreams. But there's a catch. We have a budget. So the better we budget, the longer we get to travel. We started off in England showing Marek around the city where I was born. Then we spent three months in a small mountain village in the French Alps enjoying the snowy winter paradise. And now we're exploring our next country, Poland. Subscribe to follow our journey around the world. So if you've been watching some of our previous videos, we've mentioned how there are lots of hot springs in this area, natural hot springs. And that is where we're going today. We're going to like a thermal spa kind of place with lots of different options available. And we're even more excited about it because we've been waiting outside in the freezing cold for like an hour for our bus. So unfortunately the bus is here. It's they don't have like an internet system where you can find the schedule online and I think even if we could find the schedule online we probably wouldn't be able to understand it. So you kind of just rock up at the bus station and hope for the best and unfortunately today we had to wait about an hour but we're gonna go inside and get our tickets and while we get our tickets we'll tell you a bit more about this place. Located about 18 kilometers outside of Zakopane and easily accessible by bus, Chochowskia thermal baths are the largest thermal baths in Poland. The thermal waters are rich in many micronutrients and you're guaranteed a surge of vitality and full regeneration of body after soaking in these thermal baths. Yes, please! Apart from the thermal baths, there are a number of other attractions available. We're so excited to dive right in. We haven't worn costumes or like swimming wear in literally five months since we left South Africa. So this feels so weird. We're about to go through the obligatory shower and then we go into the pools. So that was a little bit of a mess up. The showers that we just went into is actually the women's bathroom. So I just had a bit of a shower in the ladies' bathroom. <laughs> Literally snowflakes falling on us as we're swimming in here. It's amazing. So for one of these for a pass, it cost us 70 zwartes and that allows you access to the pools for three hours. Now unfortunately quite a lot of the attractions here aren't open at the moment so like the water slides and the jacuzzis and the saunas are not open at the moment but I mean still we get access to these very very warm pools for That's three hours so nice. and it's literally snowing at the moment and we're busy <laughs> swimming I mean it's this is just crazy. <laughs> That this challenge is definitely coming. We're gonna see if you can stand outside the water for the longest. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so we've had quite a nice experience in the outside pools. We just saw a little sign now and it said the water is at 36 degrees Celsius. So it is beautiful. But we've had a nice experience now on the outside. So it's time to go to the inside to see what it has to offer us. So we've just come from inside and there are lots of other pools and options available inside. But for today, we would prefer to stay outside because we aren't wearing masks. And the outside pool is just so big. There's lots of space for everyone, lots of fresh air. But we did get some footage of the inside when we were inside a bit earlier. So we'll show you guys what it looks like. slides here which are normally open but not open now there's even like a little stage over here oh you can imagine there's a little bit of a bar it's a stage with some live music it'll be a good time <gasps> Honestly, after five months of being in really cold weather, it feels amazing to be swimming around and to be so warm at the same time. Yeah, so this is actually pretty unique for us coming from South Africa because we actually don't know of too many thermal baths in the country. We only know of one really and that's in a little town in the Eastern Cape called Alawal North. Now there might be more but please all our South Africans out there please let us know in the comments down below if you know of any other thermal pools in South Africa. has come to an end and maybe that's a good thing because we're getting really pretty <laughs> and the snow is just started coming down really hard as well yeah now pretty strict here if you go even literally by a single minute over your allotted three hour time slot they start charging you so we're gonna get out to get dressed and we'll meet you outside again so we are feeling so relaxed now. It's such a strange sensation when you've been lying in the thermal bath for hours and then all of a sudden you walk out and it's like gravity takes hold of you again. You're just heavy and relaxed. So we are taking a very relaxed walk to the bus stop and we're going to head to our accommodation. But we have loved this outing. Yeah, so we've really, really enjoyed this experience. And we highly suggest that if you ever do have the chance that you should go and visit some thermal springs. Mm -hmm. Now we extend this question to our audience so let us know in the comments down below if you know of any thermal springs that we should consider visiting in the future smash that like button if you enjoyed this video as it really does help our channel to grow and of course subscribe to our channel so that you can join in on the rest of our polish adventures as well as all of the other countries that we intend on visiting in the future we've got somewhere pretty cool that we're going to after poland so you might want to stick around for that and we'll see you guys back this coming tuesday How do you open it? Oh my gosh, try let's try to put our wrists there. Maybe you can put your wrist there. I don't know. <laughs> 